when you talk about decision science, what does that even mean? What are you talking about? Could we maybe get like a, a concrete example of it? The study of how we make choices. Obviously that involves many, many different aspects, not only pure data, but we also have things like psychology, behavioral sciences, human deterministic factors. It's really the study of figuring out how we can break down complex things into more simple constituent parts. And once we have those individual parts, then we can say, oh, this problem I can solve this way. And it, it makes things more easy to decide effectively. Of course, the question becomes, what is the best decision? The best decision is the one that aligns with all of your goals. That's basically the answer. So in a traditional non-decision science-driven environment, someone might ask you, oh, should we change our website header to have a more blue color to present more of our branding? And someone might look at it, maybe from the design team, they'll look at it and they'll say, sure, why not? Now, the problem in this situation is that you don't actually know why you're doing it. All you know is that it fits better with your branding, but there's no goal, there's no objective, there's no hypothesis of what you think it's going to do. So in effect, whether you do it or not, it's the same. It's effectively the same end result. No one's going to measure the lift. No one's going to measure some kind of true false result. There's nothing happening from that. You might as well just not do it. So that decision becomes irrelevant. And there are a lot of these types of decisions that we can make day to day. And it's about actually picking out the ones that are very impactful. Because sometimes when we first think about an idea or a decision or a problem that we have, we don't actually know if it's going to be impactful yet, which is why you need to go through this process of decision science in determining what are impactful things.